17, I think. Because we dealt with the first one. Acts 11 and 17, right? Acts 11 and 17. You know better than me. It's the book of Acts, chapter 11 and verse 17. Uh -huh. For as much then as God gave them the light, the light as a gift he did unto us. This is what we're talking about, Doug? Keep reading. I think it's 18. 18. Read 18. When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then have God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. That's what you're talking about? Okay, so what was the question? Do uh, Gentiles get salvation? Do Gentiles get salvation? Now, when you say Gentiles, who are you referring to? Everybody that's considered a Gentile. Everybody, which would be? Everybody. Everybody outside of the nation of Israel, correct? Sir. All right. That's so, what, wait, wait, wait. That's what it did say. Um, get salvation, like Israel. Right, which we just read, right? Yeah, 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 yeah no, I agree so with the verse. Outside of the I agree. With, I don't agree with the, the the thought process. I agree with the verse, though. Now, who were they dealing with in this chapter? What history are they recounting? I don't know. You, you clarify. For okay, me. they're recounting back on the history in Acts chapter ten with Cornelius. What nation was Cornelius from? You're not sure. Go to Acts chapter 10 and 34. We're going to hit the point. Acts. Because that's what they're counting on. Because it started with Cornelius. He was from the northern kingdom. That's who it started with. The grafting back in of the northern kingdom. Because they were referred to as Gentiles as also the was going into. They went off into idolatry. And they were broken off during the Assyrian captivity. And they became not a nation. They became strangers. They became Gentiles. They became heathen. So sometimes when you read that term... Within the New Testament, it's referring to the other nations, and sometimes it's referring to the nation of Israel, like it said in the Zondervan. Usually, a non-Israelite people, meaning sometimes it's referring to the nation of Israel. So when they say all Gentiles, it's still talking about a certain... All people. Gentiles is referring to the northern kingdom. I'm going to show you according to the Bible. You ready to read the Acts 10 and 34? Acts 10 and verse 34. Because in verse 1, it was dealing with Cornelius. So this is concluding... The account with Cornelius, Acts 10 and 34. Then Peter opened up his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respect of person. You agree with that, then? God is no respect of person? I don't know what that means. Okay, keep reading. But in every wait, wait, wait. That's going back to what, what you, you mean. Right, right. So most most people, let's say God is no respect of persons, he's dealing with all nations. That's okay. going back to the verse. So you agree with that, right? God is no respect of person. I guess, yeah. You're okay. saying that he, God deals with all nations? No, no, no. You're saying God is dealing with all nations. That's why I thought... That, 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 that's, that's, that that's not what I say. No, no, no. We're going to keep reading. I'm going to show you. I just had to see what he was at first. Read it again. Then Peter opened up his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respect of persons. So God is no respect of persons, right? Read. But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness. But it says, But in every nation, he that feareth God and worketh righteousness or keeps the commandments of God, read, is, he set, is accepted with him. Now, the officer brought out way earlier that the law, statutes, and commandments were only given to the nation of Israel. That's biblical. These are not our words, right? Keep reading. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. To who? The children of Israel. To who? The children of Israel. This is what they were recounting back in Acts chapter 11. They were recounting when they came to Cornelius in Acts chapter 10. The word which God sent unto who? The children of Israel. The children of Israel. The children of Israel. That's who they were speaking to. So the Gentiles, John chapter 7 and verse 35. John chapter 7. No, give me the one in Matthew 4 and 15. This is the Gentiles that the Bible was referring to. Because Cornelius was referred to as a Gentile. But he was the beginning of northern kingdom being grafted back in. That's what they were dealing with in Acts chapter 11 and verse 18. So when it says all Gentiles is referring to northern kingdom. Read that. Matthew Acts, 15. Matthew chapter 4 verse 15. Read. The land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali. Who was Zebulon? Who's Zebulon? Anybody know? James or like that. So, uh, Zebulon is one of the tribes of Israel that comes from the northern kingdom. Right. right. So you got Zebulon and who? And Naphtali. And Naphtali. So if you look in that flyer, you'll see the 12 tribes of Israel. It's dealing with... I got it now. You got it? Okay. It's dealing with Zebulon. <laughs> Zebulon and Naphtali. Read. <laughs> by the way of the sea... By, well, hold up. So Zebulon and Naphtali... By the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, uh -huh. Galilee of the Gentiles. What was Zebulon and Naphtali called? Galilee of the Gentiles. Why were they called Gentiles? Last scripture, Hosea 4 and 17. Why were they called Gentiles? I'm going to prove my statement that I made. They went off into mass idolatry and were cast off as a nation. That's why when you read in Ezekiel 37, the prophecy is that the Lord will bring the two sticks back together. The, the uh, southern kingdom or the kingdom of Judah in the kingdom of Israel, which is the northern kingdom. They were two different nations because northern kingdom was cast off. Read that. Hosea 4 and 17. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Uh -huh. Eat from his joy to idols 
Who now said Ephraim? Ephraim. Ephraim is joined to idols. Idolatry. Read. Let him alone. Meaning what? Do not deal with them. Have no dealings with them. So they weren't dealing with the northern kingdom. Now I'm going to reiterate my point again. In Acts chapter 10, that started northern kingdom being grafted back into the fold and us becoming one nation. But at this time, the prophecy was that it would be cast off as a nation. You got something? Here we go. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 22. And I will make the one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Now, you listening to you listening? Mm -hmm. It said, I will make them one nation upon the what? Up, upon the mountains of Israel. Uh -huh. And one king shall be the king of them all. And one king shall be king of them all. Read. And they shall be no more two nations. They shall no more be called southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Because when you read in the New Testament, the Jews did not have any dealings with the northern kingdom. Because they understood the prophecy that they were cast off. Read. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore. We wouldn't be di divided as two kingdoms anymore. We will be one nation again, the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. And there's many more scriptures to prove that. But that, you got. So you're reading from books as before Acts 17, correct? Do you understand? You don't understand? I'm just, question. Do you understand my question? Ask it again. So well, that book of Acts right there is before the verse that I referred to, correct? Yes, it's Ezekiel's before Acts, yes, sir. Okay, so. If that's, they said that Ezekiel, then the book that comes after that is Acts, and it says that now Israel and then the other nations, they still talking about, if they already connected Israel together again, right? Right. So now, if they refer to it in a different book, further in the Bible, so Israel is already together. So when it says other nations, that was. No, 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 Israel, Israel was not together. That, that, be, that began with Cornelius. The 12 tribes of Israel were not united at that time. They're being grafted back in. So when he said all Gentiles, because they were coming against that. You had Jews that did not believe in that understanding that the northern kingdom would be grafted back in. So they had to explain to them. They had received the same gift. When Christ died on the cross, that gave them the ability to be reconciled back unto the Father and come back with southern kingdom as one nation. You understand that, there? Right. So they were quoted. Remember, like you mentioned before, the New Testament wasn't around during this time as we read it. You had the Tanakh and you had the Torah. So they were quoting from the Old Testament. They were quoting the prophets. So they understood that those two nations were referring to Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom. That it wasn't all nations. Last one, get Romans 11 and 26. And I'm going to show you that because uh, Christians, what Christians will do, they'll use Romans chapter 11, 1 down to like 23, 22, and say that that's referring to all nations being saved. But look what Paul said, Romans 11 and 26. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. Read. And so all Israel Read shall again. be saved. And so all Israel shall be saved. So he condenses all the verses from 1 down to 25, 24 into verse 26 to explain what he's talking about. Read it again. And so all Israel shall be saved. And so all Israel shall be saved. That's the gospel. Teaching the nation of Israel who they are according to the Bible to keep the faith and the commandments of Christ and understanding that they, they have a savior. Salvation is for them. And so all Israel shall be saved, read. As it is written. There. Now you see you see that there. He said, as it is written, meaning what? He quoted from the Torah and the Tanakh. They were quoting from the Old Testament. Read. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. That will turn on turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So Paul did not speak anything different. Than what the prophets spoke. They were all on one accord. They did not preach all nations. It's not biblical. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.